Remember that the devil is a liar, a manipulator, and a bully. His job is to influence us to do us wrong before the eyes of God and trick us into his plans. And his goal is to lead us straight to hell. But Jesus told us this way. He outed the enemy and told us exactly who he is. He was talking to the Pharisees and this is what he told them. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and he abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Jesus tells us that the devil is the father of lies. Every source of lie comes from the devil. Every wicked lie comes from the devil. The source of lies, the root of lies, the core of lies. Nothing he says is the truth. It may come across smooth. It may come across like it sounds good. It may even look good. Remember how he presented himself to Eve in the book of Genesis? He presented himself smoothly, talking lies, but it was a spirit of manipulation to wean her into doing sin. So it is with us. He tried to wean us into doing sins by manipulating. He is a master manipulator. Just like Jesus said, he's been doing it from the beginning. He was a murderer from the beginning. But God does not leave us unclothed. He does not leave us without strength. He does not leave us without favor. That's why he tells us to fast and pray and to put on the whole armor of God. He tells us how to get ready. He tells us to stay fervent in him, that the fervent prayers of a righteous man avail of much before him. That means to consistently pray. In Luke 18, he tells us to be fervent in prayer, to be consistent in prayer. He tells us to be like the persistent woman in prayer. He said, stay before the father in prayer. Why? Because it strengthens us. When we pray, we're always talking to the father. And when we're talking to him, our faith increase, our joy increase, and God's hand and protection upon us, that increases. It increases over us, our children, our homes, and our family. See, prayer is a keeper because you're talking to God. The devil cannot get around the protection of prayer. The devil cannot get around that protection of prayer. When you surround yourself and your family and your loved ones with prayer, it's like a force field. It's a shield. His darts can't penetrate against them. That's why God tells us to dwell, dwell in his presence and dwell there richly. There's a protection in prayer. There's a protection in the shield of God. His protection is the shield. Prayer is our protection and is our shield. It's one of the strongest weapons that God has given us. So we can win against this manipulator. We can win against this devil. I love how Zechariah put it in chapter 4 and verse 6. He said, it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by the spirit of the Lord. Glory to God. So God's spirit wars for us. It works in us, it works through us, and it works for us. I love how David said it. He said, through our God, we run through a troop and we leap over a wall. The first three words, through our God, is through God. It's through his spirit that we win. Whom the son set free is free indeed. Put on the whole arm of God. Wrap yourself in it. Listen for the voice of God. God's voice is a voice of peace, of love, of encouragement and forgiveness. He comes to give life and life more abundantly. I pray you are encouraged and blessed by this message. Share it with someone else. Like it. Leave us an encouraging comment. I'll see you all in the next video. Have an amazing day.